Hello guys, this is Dr. Ben Ben, I'm board certified dermatologist and today we're joining one of our lovely patients today who is coming in for six months follow up uh, for stem cell PRP treatment on the front of her line. Welcome, welcome. Hi, thank you. How are you? Good and you? Good, thank you. So, uh, she came in about six months ago and we did the PRP with stem cell which basically means that we draw her blood, we spin it and, create it and make a PRP and then we add stem cell to it and the issue of her concern was basically with the front of her line but I'm going to have her a little talk about it and uh, tell us why she came in and what was bothering her. Um, so basically I have this really long hair but what was bothering me was I was getting little bald patches around here. Um, I noticed within like the last five years I see photos of myself it just looks more sparse falling out so came to see you showed you these were really my most areas of concern and then we injected all along this area. Okay, so and uh, so when we did the injection first, did it hurt a lot when we were doing the injections? No, you definitely prepared me for everything. It was exactly how you told me it was going to be and the numbing really helped. The numbing really helped, yeah. So we did that. Did we use laughing gas that day? We did. We did, yeah. So the laughing gas basically kind of gives you like a, it kind of like reduces the pain. Yeah. So what we do, she, we use the laughing gas, we numb the frontal area and then we injected the stem cell with PRP. So overall, wasn't it like wasn't that painful? It was quite comfortable. Yeah, I would say definitely during. I think after it was a little bit sore, yeah. but during it was it was good. It was good. Okay, perfect. And so in the months after we did the stem cell injection, what happened? What did you see? How did you feel? Um, I started noticing probably like three to four months after, mostly in here, it started to come back, and then there was this large patch in here that started to grow more, like four or five month mark. Um, but then when I mash it up between the before and after pictures, that's when I was like, wow, that's a big difference. Okay, great. And uh, did anybody tell you that your hair looks better? Did anybody notice it? Any of your friends or colleagues or anything? Um, I think they noticed like it was just a little fuller. Okay. Um, just, you know, no one could really tell beforehand, but I think at the very end, they Look healthier. Look healthier. Okay. And so, what do you? So we're on about six months after we did the stem cell. So, what do you think about your hair right now? I'm super pleased. I'm happy. I hope it stays like this. I would do it again. <laughs> okay. Very good. Well, I'm glad that you're happy. Uh, okay. Excellent. So let's take a look at the hair. So she was basically losing a lot in the front of her line. Uh, kind of like an inch about right here, going all across. Uh, and what we did was that we numb from here all the way to here. And we injected the stem cell all along here. And look, this is her own natural hair. And you can see that she already has some hair there. And what it did was that it just thickened her own natural hair. We also injected this area. She was also thinning in this area as well. So we injected all along here. Again, all this hair came out, came back. We injected all along the hairline here. And also right at this corner right here. So a lot of these hairs basically have grown out. Um, basically have injected. Now, a lot of patients do come and say, hey doc, you know, what if, if you inject, like, below that right here, would I get more hairline? Can we bring the hairline down? No, the stem cell doesn't work that way. The stem cell only allows us to grow hair where the hair is there before. It's just miniaturized. So, but it, it just boosts those miniaturized hair and makes it grow back out again. But if there's no hair there, it's just not gonna work. So in guys where they have the widow's peak, Inject the widow's peak is not going to work. So in her in her case, she was just thinning, and she still had the hair follicles, but they were, they were just basically miniaturized. That means they're not as big. They're not the caliber is not as thick. So it looks thinned out. So but in doing the PRP with stem cell, it, it just boosted. Now a lot of questions people ask is that why do PR why do PRP stem cell as opposed to PRP? The thing with PRP is that you have to do it multiple times initially, and with the stem cell, we just did it once. Isn't that correct? Yeah. It's just a lot easier. It's just coming once. It takes about an hour to clean the area and not going to inject it. Um, so, as a final thought, any ideas for our audience out there? I mean, there are a lot of patients that have very dissimilar thing you lose in the front of her line. Anything that you want to recommend to them or any words or recommendation? I think just being a young female, like it's something we don't really talk about because we're embarrassed or whatever, but I think this was definitely a good success story. So. Um, I'm 31, so I noticed this when I was like 25, 26. Um, I think people should be more open to it. I agree. I agree. Well, I'm so happy that you got great results. Uh, again, this is one of the lovely patients who did the PRP stem cell about six months ago, and this is our six-month follow-up uh, for the frontal hairline. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.
I would say like being young female with hair loss, that's not something that's talked about at all. It's always the guys that are losing their hair kind of in here, but I am a female with male pattern balding. So my hair does bald like a male. Um, and so it's embarrassing. People don't want to talk about it, um, especially being so young. So that's definitely kind of hurts your confidence because you can't talk to anyone about it. No one sympathizes with you. I literally don't know anyone else with this kind of situation. Um, maybe because I don't talk about it, um, but I feel like more open and people should know more about it. Um, and if there was like a mid 20, 30 year old girl, she was suffering with this, I would want her to know about it. Um, about age 26 or so, I'm noticing um, little uh, patches over here, kind of getting more sparse. Um, I'm not noticing anything on the rest of the head, just in photos, I can kind of see like foreheads getting bigger, a little more exposed. Um, so fast forward till recently, six months ago, I did the PRP stem cell. Um, I wasn't sure, should I do just the PRP and do it you know, a few months every so often, or just do the most extreme PRP stem cell. So I opted for that one, I'm so glad I did. Um, and I noticed within a few months, it's starting to fill in a little bit more and it's just the confidence in how I feel about myself is so much better. Um, I wish I didn't wait that long, but that's okay, at least I did it now. There's a lot of people that are kind of afraid because it sounds like a really intense process and to be honest, it is kind of an intense process. You know, laughing gas, inject lidocaine, and then inject the stem cell PRP after they take a ton of your blood, but it is so worth it and you know the science is all there um, it just it sounds a little intimidating um, but I would do it you know before it's too late because like Dr. Ben said once you start to see bald spots completely you can't inject in it it's not going to like grow a patch of hair um, you want to do it when you start to see less so I would suggest do it sooner rather than later I'm a little bit sensitive so I felt like for me the recovery was pretty intense. Um, I was super, super swollen kind of all from here for about a week. Um, I, I didn't go to work, I didn't like put makeup on, I didn't, you know, I couldn't even really brush my hair that day or the next day it was really painful but um, I just kind of took my time with it. The recovery was well worth it. Um, but yeah, it is kind of an intense recovery process. I think that was more painful than actually getting it done. So people just need to keep that in mind and kind of not touch the area, don't bother it, just let it alone and you know let it heal. What I love about Dr. Ben is he'll answer all my hundred questions, even if I ask him the same question over and over. He's very patient, very thorough, um, because I'm really meticulous about all kinds of details and things like that. So he was very patient and he literally walked me through what the whole process was gonna look like and it was exactly that. There was no more, no less. Um, so I feel like he prepared me really for everything, so I'm grateful for that. Yeah, I definitely, I feel so much more confident. Like, you know, years ago, I was like, don't take a picture of me. I don't want anyone to see, you know, this hair um, being exposed. Um, but as you can see, like, I have this really long mermaid hair, and it was just such a disappointment to see it, you know, falling out from the top of my head. So after this treatment, I just felt so much better about myself. I feel like more complete. <laughs> My hair is like my favorite part. Um, so huge confidence booster. I mean, just like way of life. I feel so much better now.